Okay, this one says that <clears throat> Chelsea went on a 60-mile trip to a soccer game. On the way back, due to road construction, she had to drive 10 miles per hour slower. This made the trip take 25 hours longer. How fast did she drive to the soccer game? Well, we know that distance is equal to R times T. And um, because of the nature of this problem, we're given information about the time. Um, we're going to want to solve for T, and T is equal to D over R, or our distance over rate. Um, so the distance over rate, the distance is going to be the same in both scenarios. So on the way there, um, she drove 60 miles at some rate. So we'll just leave it as R. Um, and then on the way back, she drove 60 miles, but she went 10 miles per hour slower. So the rate now is R minus 10. Now the times aren't exactly equal um, for each one because remember the one way took 25 hours longer than the other. And so if we add 25 hours on to the shorter one, um, then we've got the even time. So we don't know how long it took her um, to get there in the first place. But to go back, it took 25 miles an hour. So you have to add the 25 hours on to the shorter time to make them equal. So now we just have to set, um, uh, well, solve the uh, quadratic or rational equation. Um, so you will want to get the variables out of the denominator by multiplying both sides by r and r minus 10, or r times r minus 10. So you got to distribute that to all parts. So starting on the left side, um, the r's are going to divide out, and I'm just going to get 60 times r minus 10, plus 25 r times r minus 10, equals 60 r. And then if I distribute, I get 60 r minus 600, plus 25 r squared, minus, tw minus 250, equals 60 r. <clears throat> All right, the 60R on the left side and the right side will cancel out. Um, so we get 25R squared minus 250, oh, this should be an R, minus 250R minus 600 equals 0. We can divide both sides by 25 to simplify this quadratic equation. And then we get R squared minus 10R minus 24 equals 0. That factors nicely to r minus 12 and r plus 2. So we get two answers, r equals 12 and r equals negative 2, but negative speeds don't make sense in this scenario. So we get that the rate was 12 miles per hour, and if we you know, go back and make sense of that, which is always a good idea to do. Let me see if I can make these a little smaller here. So remember we said that um, <clears throat> so it's time is equal to distance over rate. So now that we have the rate, we know it's 60 miles, so 60 over 12 miles per hour would give us a time of 5 hours. So it took her 5 hours to get there, um, but she went 10 miles an hour less than that on the way back, so 60 divided by 2 is 30 hours. So you can see if you add 25 to the 5, then you get the 30 hours. So it works out 